iPads are some of the best tablets in the world. They set the standard for other brands and delight consumers with a user-friendly design. 10.9 inches liquid retina display with true tone, P3 wide color, and an anti-reflective coating. Apple M1 chip with neural engine. 12 MP wide camera, 12 MP ultra wide front camera with center stage, up to 256 gigabytes of storage, available in blue, purple, pink, starlight, and ND space gray, stereo landscape speakers, touch ID for secure authentication and Apple Pay, all day battery life, 5G capable, Apple iPads are some of the best tablets in the world, they set the standard for other brands and delight consumers with a user friendly design, the Apple IP year 2022 model is the nice one. Much of the new iPad Air from Apple is a known quantity. The design, screen, speakers, rear camera, and fingerprint scanner are all carried over from the 2020 model. The updated front-facing camera with Apple's center stage feature can be found across the entire iPad line. It's compatible with all the same cases, keyboard, and stylus accessories as before. And the M1 chip inside the new Air is lifted right from last year's iPad Pro and the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini, and iMac. What's new is that you can get that combination of features in a tablet that starts at $599. That's now the lowest price you can get access to Apple's impressive M1 processor. Undercutting even the value-driven Mac Mini, you also have the option of 5G for slightly faster than LTE cellular speeds. Oh, and there are a couple of new colors this time around, including the fetching blue of my review unit, new processor and 5G side. The iPad Air remains the iPad for those looking for a nicer tablet than the base model. I don't necessarily want to spend the cost or need all the bells and whistles of the iPad Pro. It's got a modern design, more performance than most people will know what to do with in a tablet, and an excellent screen that works equally well in portrait or landscape orientation. It's not the iPad I'd recommend wholly replacing a laptop with, though it can work for certain laptop-like tasks. When paired with an optional keyboard case, it's the nicer iPad for those looking to do iPad things, like reading, watching video, playing games, taking notes, and perhaps writing the occasional email but aren't planning on making it their only computing device. The M1 chip offers more performance headroom than the newer A15, plus it's paired with 8GB of RAM. Apple's iPad Air is the best iPad for most people. Thanks for watching please, check for good deals below this video, please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it.